Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're over on Taylorsville Road, right before where it hits Bardstown Road in the Highlands. We're at Morris's Deli. Before I get started though, I need to do a, a little disclaimer. A lot of people out there don't really know what my channel is all about. I do reviews of mom and pop restaurants locally and when I go out of town also, I do local restaurants. But periodically, I get questioned on the integrity of my reviews, so I gotta go and explain real quick. Uh, I don't approach the restaurant owners or the restaurants before I come and do a review. Uh, that wouldn't be an honest review, that would be a setup. I don't tell the owners that I've reviewed the restaurant until after I've paid for my food and I'm walking out the door. And the only thing that I ask from the restaurant owner is to please share my review on their Facebook page and help show some love for my channel, just like I'm helping to support the mom and pop restaurants. The other thing is, I get a lot of people, they ask me, uh, well, if you say every place is good, how do we know if every restaurant's good that there's a such thing as a bad one? Well, here's another thing people don't know. I have actually had to scrap no telling how many review videos because the food wasn't good enough to recommend. And a lot of you would be surprised at some of the names of the places that I actually had to scrap the videos. A lot of them are well-known places. So if my review in the video gets uploaded to YouTube, that means it's good enough for me to recommend for you to come. All right, enough of the talk. Let's go in and check it out now. All right, putting together that sandwich. Look at it. All the fixings. All right, so uh, Morris Deli, they do have some tables inside if you want to dine in, but they only have a couple. I like to go ahead and do it outside where I can talk freely, not disturb anybody. I'm actually set up here on the old Beard Depot loading dock where they used to wheel the kegs out of that door there and wheel them out to the trucks. But anyway, uh, Morris Deli been here since 87. They bought the place from Karen D Package Liquor and Grocery. And the Morris family's been running it now for 35 years. They've built up a very popular business and their product stands for itself. They also do, uh, not only they do luncheon uh, stuff here, but they do catering. I've actually been to two weddings that were catered by Morris Deli and they were fantastic. Morris Deli has some signature items, which I ordered a couple of them. One of which is this country ham sandwich. Just look at that. It's baked country ham and I got it with some pickles, tomato, and lettuce with mayonnaise. So I'm going to give this a try. Mm-hmm. Got the saltiness of that uh, country ham, the snap of that onion, mm -hmm. just makes everything perfectly mixed. And speak of, uh, got pickles on there too, but another one of their signature items is they have hot pickles. Sometimes they come in pickle spears, but today I can only get them in chips. They have scotch uh, bonnet peppers, jalapeno, habanero, and these are some of the best pickles you ever put in your mouth. Mmm. It's worth it just to come here for the pickles, if anything. We'll be right back with a couple more items. All right, moving along. And again, these pickles, unbelievable. I don't even know where they get a hold of scotch bonnet peppers to even put on it. Any of y'all that know anything about peppers, Scotch Bonnet is right up there, some of the hottest you can get. All right, another signature item they're known for is their broccoli and cheese soup. We used to get this from my wife's grandmother, Mary uh, Kenny, all the time. She loved it. She passed away about three years ago. So, Mimi, this is an honor of you. Oh, that's so good. Creamy. And you get you still taste a lot of that good broccoli and you can uh, tell the spices in there and some cheddar you can taste that cheddar all right now I got the uh, the pasta salad you see it's got a uh, mixture of like green pepper looks like some onion 
maybe even celery in there and sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. You can tell that was made with love. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving along, the homemade potato salad. By the way, everything in here is homemade, so you don't have to worry about getting anything out of a carton. Snap of that onion. Perfect combination. I'll tell you what, everything's so good. I'm gonna go in there and talk to the manager, get a little bit more info from him. And I'm also gonna do a clip and show you all around a little bit in there. It's a real laid back joint. Gotta come here. We'll be right back in a second. All right, now that I'm done with the food, I went ahead and uh, told the owner what I was doing. That's the owner, Frank, right there, Frank Morris. And uh, of course, they're a good staff there behind the counter. As you see, they don't they don't have a lot of tables here, but if you do want to eat indoors, you can. Sorry about the sunlight; it's got that glare. They also have groceries, and uh, you go up to the counter, you order your sandwiches, and when they give you your sandwiches, you come over here to the counter and pay for it. Old school, just like the old days at the old country store. And over here. They also specialize in spreads and salads. You can, before you go, you go ahead and grab you uh, some stuff to go, which one of their signature items is the pimento cheese, which I'm gonna touch on in my closing. And then of course, if you need to liven the party up, they got a whole assortment of packaged liquors and the coldest beer in town their walk-in cooler is just at freezing so if you want ice cold beer this is the place to come be back with the closing in just a second. all right just talk to frank the owner really good guy you know it's a total family mom and pop run operation we as louisvillians need to get out here support our local places support uh morris's deli uh also before i get out of here i talk about signature items uh, my wife made sure that I picked up a couple containers of pimento cheese. This is what probably they're most well known for is the pimento cheese. I'll tell you what, if you go to a party and you show up with some of this pimento cheese, you better invest in hiring a couple rodeo clowns because as soon as you come in and they find out this came from Morris's Deli, you're liable to get stampeded. Anyway, with that said, uh, like I said, everything's homemade. They even barbecue. They do all kinds of stuff. Order uh, catering for your graduation parties, whatever it may be. And y'all don't know nothing about this Morris's Deli. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.